Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing four Etsy diamond paintings that I got for my birthday. Just so you guys know, I have already opened these. This is not a first uh, reaction to any of these things because it was my birthday, and um, I wanted to open everything that same day. Uh, so I have four paintings. Uh, they're all in the style of Van Gogh. Um, so we have two 20 by 20s. We have a 35 by 35 and uh, I forgot, uh, 25 by 25. I'm super excited to share them with you all. So let's get right into this. So we're gonna start with um, the smaller paintings because there are four. So I already flattened out these canvases. Um, they flatten really easily, surprisingly. Um, and they were uh, rolled in, I kept the box to show you guys, in one of these boxes. Uh, I don't have the toolkit, um, but it was actually, it did have a funnel, tweezers, uh, a pen, wax, and all the normal stuff that you have. Uh, and it was a nice breather because this was a fairly cheap paint, these were fairly cheap paintings. Uh, and the toolkit wasn't terrible, so um, that was really nice to see. So you already get a glimpse of the first image. So we're going to do that one first. Um, this is... Let me see if it'll focus. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, in the style of Vincent van Gogh. Or Starry Night, I guess. As many people, many people know it. So this has 30 colors. I believe it's round. No, it's square. Wow, okay. Uh, it's square. Um, it's 20 by 20, as I said before. Um, so just taking a look at the different uh, DMs, or the different symbols, I don't think I'd be able to, I don't think I would um, confuse many of them, besides maybe this P and the S. Um, but besides that, it's all alphanumerical, um, except for a couple of symbols, which is fine. Um, apparently, this was inventory checked. I'm not going to be taking out all the drills uh, because I am storing these, so we're going to uh, wait on that. So um, I will show you guys what the canvas looks like in a second, but I'm going to go over the drills first because... Um, sorry. Sorry. Because I have to use a light pad to show you guys what it looks like. So we have um, just a couple of examples. These are all packaged by themselves. Completely loose. Uh, the drill quality looks fine. As I have said in my other videos, it all, the, these um, cheaper companies always surprise me on how high quality the drills are. Pretty nice. Um, I see that there are some drills that are stuck together, so I'm going to have to crush them um, and hopefully split them. Now I'm just going to go over a couple of colors because, again, I don't want to take it all out because I'm going to be storing them. This is 823, but you can't really see it. So let me put these away. Um... And I'll see you guys in one sec. I'm going to go ahead and get my light pad to show you guys what it looks like. So it's kind of hard to see, but um, this is what the canvas looks like. It looks super blurry, but I think that's because of the cover. Um, I'm actually going to have to peel this back, I think. But from what I can see, this looks like a lot of confetti. So let me um, turn this off. You know, plug it so that's a little easier. Um, and we're going to peel back. Just a little section. So we're going to peel back the bottom left. I hope. So as you can see, it looks super busy. Um, there's not a lot of color blocking at all. In fact, it's mostly confetti. So this is going to be a nightmare to accomplish. Um... But I do appreciate that there's a lot of colors in this. But I noticed when I was uh, looking at these on my birthday, I saw that these all had a lot of colors in, or they all these all have a lot of colors crammed into a small space. Because this has 30 colors for a 20 by 20. 
So it's definitely um, a lot. So uh, if we zoom in a little closer, you can see the the printing quality is pretty terrible, in my opinion. Um, I have okay eyes, so I don't think it's going to be much of a problem for me. Um, but for others, it's definitely not um, what you would uh, want. So yeah, that was this um, painting. Um, and so I'm going to move on to the next painting, but I'm not going to take out... Um, or I'll show you the picture, but I'm not going to take out everything and go into as much depth as I just did. So let's move on to my second painting. By the way, I store my paintings like this. Um, I have the inventory number and it has a picture of the demo painting. And then I store the canvas separately. Um, so let's move on to the second one. Um, so this one's super near and dear to my heart because it's Paris and... I have a really good bond with Paris. Um, I've been there a couple of times and I'm very lucky to have gone there. Um, my grandma used to live there, so it's really fun to have a uh, painting that kind of commemorates that. So this one, I believe has 30 colors as well, yeah. Um, it's 20 by 20, I think it's square. I think it's square. Yeah, it's square. I like square better than round. Um, a lot of colors for a, such a small um, canvas. Apparently, these are all checked by hand. The, they do inventory by hand. Again, the same toolkit. Um, pretty above average, I would say. Now, this one does have a little bit more color blocking, as you can see down here. Um, but the rest is just a whole lot of confetti which is gonna be a little bit maddening, but I shall survive, I hope. Um, so that is this one. Um, again, this is what it looks like. And yeah, 30 colors, I'm trying to think. I feel like this one went too quickly. Oh yeah, um, so I'm, we're gonna move on to the next one, but something that um, I like about these diamond paintings especially is that they have Opaque plastic coverings, the center group coverings. Um, so that I really appreciate that because I personally like um, opaque paper better than the clear paper um, or the clear plastic. So that is just my opinion, but I'm just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight on what I like when I demo paint. So um, this is. My neighbor Totoro, or Totoro, <laughs> um, sitting on his little branch. This is a pretty famous picture. Um, or It's kind of two famous pictures combined. Him sitting on a log is pretty famous, and Starry Night in the background is pretty famous as well. Um, so this is Totoro. If you don't know, it's a Studio Ghibli movie, um, and they're kind of known for Totoro. Uh, a lot of people know the company for Totoro, so... Um, this has 34 colors, and again, 20 by 5 by 25. These are really pretty colors. Square drills. Really pretty colors. Wow. Um, and we're going to take a look. Again, I'm not going to go into as much detail. Oh, the canvas quality. I didn't talk about that. Um, I would say that this is comparable to Visuarts. It's one of those oil cloths, I think it's called. I like it, honestly. Um, so, again, lots of confetti. Printing quality, obviously not the best. Sorry, I have to hold this with two hands and try focusing the camera. So, um, yeah, definitely gonna be a little bit painful to do, uh, but I think the end product is gonna look really nice. Or at least I hope it does, because this is gonna be uh, really annoying to do, as I said, a thousand times, um, so yeah, that is the My Neighbor Totoro, it's 25 by 25, square drills, 34 colors. Sorry that I'm going quickly on these ones, I just don't think there's much more to say, um, I just want to show you the pictures at this point. 
So now we have the big boy. This is another Studio Ghibli movie. I love Studio Ghibli, if you couldn't tell. Um, this is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie. Um, a famous scene from that. Yeah, this is No Face. Uh, with Dark Knight in the background. Um, no Face on the Bridge is a super duper famous image for a lot of fans like me. Um, and I just love it so much. Um, and when I saw this image, I was like, I need it. So, we got it in a big size. Uh, I mean, I don't, this is this really 35 by 35? Because it isn't honestly that big, but it just seems big. So that's 30. Yeah, that's exactly 35 by 35. See, I don't remember 35 being that big, but, um... I guess it is this big. So, um, this is, has 32 colors. I think I might have already said that. The symbols on this one are a little bit different. We have uh, all these different symbols. There's pi in there. There's a moon. Again, uh, spades. The suit. Um, and... I like this one a lot, too, because it's super recognizable. Uh, let's peel this back. I do remember this one having a lot of confetti. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, it's good that we got different sizes because uh, it can it you, you would expect that a bear size has less confetti, but you'd be very wrong. Um, this is actually a bad corner to say that for because this corner does not have a lot of confetti. I'm pretty sure these are all um, double-sided tape. 99% sure. Uh, the sky will be a nightmare. Um, no face is also going to be a nightmare because there's a lot of one color. There's a lot of black and a lot of red all over the place. Um, and especially in that little corner. So uh, 35 by 35, it seems a lot bigger than I was expecting, honestly. <laughs> um, so yeah, this has been for Etsy Diamond Paintings. I'm gonna put this shop on the screen, hopefully, if I can find it again, because there's a couple of shops that do this um, kind of genre of paintings of Starry Night. Um, so just so you know, I picked up two of these and two of these were a surprise to me. Uh, we didn't video my reaction because Obviously, I don't want to show my face on YouTube right now. Um, I'm just not ready for that yet. And my parents don't want me to either. So, um, my reaction was hysterical, honestly. It was great. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, this... Oh, I didn't... Um, oh, you can actually see kind of in the back of the silhouette. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching me unbox these four diamond paintings. I'm pretty happy with the quality but the confetti, oh my gosh, there's going to be so much confetti. Um, especially for a Starry Night painting. I was not expecting that. Uh, again, these canvases uh, flatten really well. Uh, I just put them under, I think, well, this one was on the bottom. Um, and it flattened the least, which was surprising. But I think they're self-flattening. Just, you have to give them a day. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time.